All right, we've got a couple of bench-made shootouts here on the table today. Uh, these are OTFs out the front, double action knives, meaning you can fire it and retract it. That's your double action or your dual action. Um, these are interesting. These The model came out about a year ago, sometime in early 2022, I believe. And it started off with a um, crew wear blade, which it still keeps. And it started off with a or with the Benchmade CF Elite uh, scales, so carbon fiber with some nylon um, impregnated reinforcements and whatever they call it. They've changed in 2023, and I think they did do a second model last year also in the grivery or grivery plastic injection whatever the hell these scales are it just makes them feel really really cheap there is a sound that it's just feels very plasticky and it it's super grippy on the bolsters here if you will amazingly grippy uh, the rest of the texturing is very nice. I do like the texturing. And overall, I kind of like the knives. These are special colors that are only available till the end of August. Um, well, they're not. So retailers can only order this color until the end of August. So you can probably find them in retailers in September. But they can't order any more of these after August in these two colors. They also do have it in black grivery. They also have it, I think, in a blue. Um, and those, I don't think, are special colors. The seafoam green and the mesa red are the special colors. Um, it's an OTF. Standard deal. It shoots out the front. <laughs> if you're into those, super cool. I am not a huge automatic knife guy at all anyway. But I do like a couple of things about this. There's... Minimal blade play. You're always going to get blade play out of an automatic out the front. Unless you spend 1000 1500 plus on a deadlock. They have zero blade play. Uh, the other thing I like about this is it is super thin and slicey. The blade thickness on this is... Uh, let me look at my notes here. The blade thickness is only 0 0.089 and it's 0 0.1, 0 0.012 behind the edge. So this thing is going to be really thin, real slicey, and it's super lightweight. This thing comes in at just 2.9 ounces. Deep carry pocket clip. I like that it's kind of stonewashed there. It does have this um, lanyard pommel, I think is how they call it. The original one had a glass breaker instead. The crew wear is cool, DLC coated, all of that. And the action is very nice. The fire button is super great because there's a lot of traction and just the shape of it. Um, what I don't love about it is the uh, plastic handles. I kind of wish it, they came in aluminum. That might be very cool. Same texturing, but do aluminum scales. It would give it a little bit more weight. I think it might balance it out a little bit better. And it would not feel cheap and plasticky. And it's not a cheap price. On Gil's website, these were loaned in from Gil over at Wild About Sporting Goods. His price is $337.50. You get a little bit of a discount there, 10% off if you use the code down below. Um, so you're still like around 300 bucks. Yes, it's out the front. Yes, there's some mechanics inside. Like you're paying for some of that. You're paying for American made. Um, I do like the fact also that it, the blade is centered. A lot of times in um, OTFs, oftentimes it's when the fire button is on the side, the blade is off center. So I do like the ergonomics of this where it is in the center. And I do much prefer my automatics to have these side firing buttons. 
rather than a slider here. And then you need to re reposition to use the knife. I don't know. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on the pricing. I think Benchmade has just kind of lost their mind in the last couple of years. And they're overcharging for basically every knife. It's just my opinion. Um, sure, they're made in America. I get it. And we want to keep everything in America. And we want to do all of this. But... We somehow have to figure out how to get the pricing to be in line. For And I put it this way, and I don't have one here in my hand to, to show you, but because I've packed up most of my stuff to move. But for $337, I can get an American Blade Works Model 2 that is a handmade custom knife. It's not an OTF. It's... You know, but it is titanium. Uh, I think their current version is Magna Cut and all that for the same price as this. Give or take a few bucks. I think those ones are like 350 if I remember. <sighs> North, North Arms, Skaha from Canada in S35VN with a full carbon fiber scales. I think those cost me... 330 350 something like that again custom made blade or custom made knife versus cheesy feeling plasticky production knife and the the true the north arms are made in canada but the american blade works are made here in america and it's escaping me what state he's in right this second but you get it so let's talk about the specs just really quick on this. It's four and seven eighths, including the pummel. Eight and three eighths overall, 3.49 inch blade. 0 0.012 behind the edge, as I mentioned. Crew air, 2.9 ounces. 0 0.503 overall thickness, excluding the clip. The clip works great in the pocket. I do wish Benchmade would go to a countersunk screw on all of their knives i mean it is a deep carry pocket clip that sometimes depending on your jeans or your car hards or your 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 trousers your pants the screw heads may hang up on that seam it happens so i wish they would go with a flat screw in general you can take these apart it's not proprietary hardware it's t6s i think I didn't check, but you know, whatever. All in all, I think they're fine. I, I'm not a huge automatic guy, um, but I do kind of like the fidgety factor of an OTF. I don't know that I own any OTFs right now. Um, I think I have the little USB one from Boker, but I don't know. I think they're cool, but I think they're overpriced and I think they feel very cheap and cheesy, honestly. So uh, let me know your thoughts. I would love to hear and uh, have a fantastic day. I do have a Benchmade playlist I'll put up here in the corner. So please go check that out.